What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we're going to be covering the figures that I am the most hyped for coming very, very soon from Mattel. You know, they have been absolutely killing it in 2018. I think this has been the most successful WWE figure year um, ever in the history of WWE action figures. You know, we've gotten so many different things and so many first times and just so many epic, epic WWE figures. And today I'm going to go through the ones that we're going to be getting very, very soon and the ones that I am most excited for, guys. So let's go ahead and and get straight into it. The first figures that we're going to talk about, guys, are the two top talents figures right here in the packaging. We have Finn Balor and AJ Styles, and both of these figures are incredible. The AJ Styles is one of my favorite attires that he's ever worn to the ring from WrestleMania 34. We also have WrestleMania 34 Finn Balor, and while it's not my favorite attire, this is going to work excellent for multiple, multiple non-demon custom elite Finn Balors that I want to make. I'm, I'm having the feeling that these things are going to be really, really easy to find. Hopefully, they're going to be packed out in Walmart and stuff so that will give me the uh, uh, the ability to buy as many ballers as possible you know maybe like I can get like 10 or 12 of them really easy maybe for $12 on Amazon eventually or find them at retail over and over again and just get them for a cheap price that way I can make all those custom ballers so these two are definitely two figures that I'm most hyped for coming soon Next up, guys, we do have two Seth freaking Rollins figures. We have the Elite 64 on the left and then the top talent Seth Rollins on the right. We're going to be getting a slew of championships. We get a brand new head scan on both of these guys. And I already have both of these Seth Rollins in custom Elite figure form, but I cannot wait for the final product of Mattel. Obviously, you want the final product over a custom, better posability. You know, you ain't got to worry about the paint chipping, yada, yada, yada. The head scans on these are beautiful, and I can't wait to expand the Seth Rollins collection. Maybe grab as many of these as possible. You could use that top talent Seth Rollins to do, you know, fantasy attires and whatnot, and yeah, just a uh, big Seth Rollins fan, so you know I'm going to grab as many Seth Rollins figures as they pump out. Next up, guys, we do have the brand new Elite 64 Usos, and these blow away the Elite 54 Usos, in my opinion. I mean, we get this cloth black and red Usos jacket with day one-ish on the back, and then Jey Uso comes with a vest with day one-ish on the back, black band, or red bandana, handcuffs, kendo stick, red pants, white shoes, these are freaking beautiful. What can you say? I, I think that these are going to be absolutely incredible. And if you want to put white wrist tape on them, all you have to do is switch their arms with the Elite 54. Not a big deal at all. They finally got a good head scan on Jimmy, and this is just an epic set. This, these are the best Uso Elites they've ever made. It's like they get better and better each time they create the Uso. So maybe in the next ones, we'll get even better. The only grab I would have is maybe not having any hats, but I'm definitely hyped for these Usos. Next up, guys, we have three more Elite figures right here. Elite 64 Samoa Joe, Elite 64 John Cena, and ringside exclusive Matt Hardy. All three of these figures look incredible. Um, six, uh, Elite 64 Samoa Joe is easily the best Samoa Joe they've ever made. John Cena, I am so happy that we're getting this in Elite figure form so I can add it to my John Cena timeline collection. You know, this is one that I never had custom made. So now that we're getting an official version of it, I cannot wait to add it up on the shelf. And then, you know, we I always love getting a brand new championship belt, and we are long overdue for this ECW championship you know we can stick it on our christian figures our jack swagger figures and now with this matt hardy so i cannot wait for that as well you know we got the SummerSlam elite head scan and the camo pants on there so this is going to be an epic elite as well as these elite 64 figures Next up, guys, we have three more elites. We have the WrestleMania 35, WrestleMania 19, Triple H in the pinkish purple trunks with the World Heavyweight Championship. Cannot wait to add that Triple H to my timeline collection of him. And we also have Bludgeon Brothers elites. You know, they're out with injury right now, but um, these are epic, and I cannot wait to have updated versions of them. They have epic accessories. They have a lot of great details in them. So these will most definitely be some figures that I am most hyped for, and they had to go in this video. Next up, guys, we have some NXT figures for you guys. We have Roderick Strong right here in his blue attire. And when I get this figure, I'm most definitely going to have to give him a torso swap because he is looking mighty jacked nowadays, guys. You can also calf swap it, you know, give him the shorter boots. Um, hopefully those legs are interchangeable because he's, he's bigger than that, I think, in my opinion. And I can't wait for this Roderick Strong. Big fan of him. And then I kind of want to, you know, do an Undisputed Era attire, you know, update that a little bit to add it to the Epic Moments 3-pack. We also have a CN Almas, which is going to be an updated head scan, and this is is his first elite figure in the all-white attire looking beautiful and then we have an Alistair Black which is untouchable guys all the details the entrance vest there's going to be so many cool things we can do with that Alistair Black so that is definitely I think Alistair Black is easily in my top three most hyped figures that one is a definite must grab we got a faction next guys and it is Sanity 
We have Sanity, all four members of them looking great right here. We have Eric Young, Alexander Wolf, Killian Dane, and Nikki Cross all looking great. All the details on all of these figures are amazing. I love everything about them. Cannot wait to have these figures in hand. They had to be on my most hyped. I know they haven't been featured on television in a little bit. You know, they aren't really anything on the main roster, but you got to have them for your NXT. You got to have them for your pick feds and everything. So these guys are definitely going to be great figures. Look at all the details you can just see from these render images. Killian Dane comes with some unique parts on him. I can't wait to get these things and they had to be on this video for me. Two more figures that I'm looking forward to, guys. We have the last ever entrance grades figure with Elias in the white pants. You know, it's a little bit of a variant from his first Elite in Elite 60. He comes with a different looking guitar as well as a stool. I wish he sort of came with like a scarf or an entrance shirt or something like that. I think that would have really tied it together. But you do get the scarf, or not the scarf, you get the stool and you get the guitar. And then, of course, we have Pete Dunne and his entrance thing with the UK Championship. I'm not exactly sure if he comes with the UK title, but it would make sense if he does. Hopefully he does. You know, we've only gotten one with the ringside experience exclusive um, Tyler Bates. So we definitely need an updated or another one of those. That would do, be great. But these had to be on my most typed. I mean, it's a better Elias figure. And then we have Pete Dunn first time in the line. And last but not least, guys, we do have two more render figures here in Cedric Alexander, one of my favorite wrestlers in the entire world, and then the Velveteen Dream from NXT, and these figures are going to be incredible. You can tell just by the renders themselves that the head scans are perfect, the parts choices they use are pretty dang nice, and I cannot wait to see what attires they use for both of these. So these are definitely most hype for me. Um, Cedric Alexander especially, I love Velveteen Dream, but Cedric Alexander, I think he's going to tear it up on MDT Live, and he's going to be making some noise. So I can't wait for him to do some lumbar checks and kill it in the figure arena. But thank you guys so much for watching. That does it for all of the figures that I am most hyped for in 2018. You know, coming around in 2019, we're almost there. So it's going to be interesting. I'm actually going to be uploading two videos today. You're going to see that it pops up. We have some new figure news for you guys. So whichever one you watched first, you know, definitely click on the other video so you guys can get up to date with not only the figures I'm looking most forward to, but also the new uh, elites that I'm about to show you images of. But thank you guys so much for watching subscribe to the channel for more epic wwe figure videos follow me on instagram and twitter at my name toys and i will see you guys in the next video thank you